Montz and Ismael Fernandez and introducing the referee in charge, Raul Caiz. All right, fans, here we go. Introducing to you first on my right is the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing red trunks with white trim and hailing from Chicago, Illinois. With a weight of 139 pounds, his fine record includes 20 wins, no losses, one draw with nine wins by way of knockout. He is ranked the WBO number one junior welterweight contender. Please welcome the undefeated Lorenzo, the yes! Stallion yes! Smith. And his opponent across the ring. On my left, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing blue trunks with white trim, hailing from Mexico City, Xochimilco, Distrito Federal, Mexico. His weight, 138 pounds, with an outstanding record of 33 wins, no losses, and 30 big wins by way of knockout. He is the defending WBO junior welterweight champion of the world, Introducing the undefeated Carlos Bolillo Gonzalez. Once again, your referee in charge now to give instructions, Raul Caiz. Remember the instructions that I give you downstairs? Acuérdense las reglas que les dije abajo. Dense la mano, shake hands, good luck to both of you. Buenas suerte a los dos. All right, Lorenzo Smith, 6'1", Gonzalez 5'9", 139 pounds, the kid from Chicago, and Gonzalez 138 pounds, Smith is five years older at 25, and Gonzalez obviously at 20, 77 inch reach, and a seven inch advantage for Smith, much taller, slender lad, Gonzalez in the blue trunks. He's a tremendous fighter, obviously. Won the title here. It was vacant at the time, last June, with a second round knockout of Jimmy Paul. It was no contest. In fact, prior to May of this year, he had a string of 10 consecutive knockouts. And Timmy Brooks forced him to go to a decision. Now, you might watch for some early action, particularly from Gonzalez. In 30 bouts, average two and a half knockdowns, and two and a half rounds of action in 30 bouts. So that's getting the knockouts pretty quickly. At 17 first round knockouts, 23 inside of the third round. He punches and bunches. Rafael Relas is down in the Prime Network studio waiting for the sports show tonight, which will follow these bouts. And I understand that uh, he wants to fight Gonzalez and Gonzalez wants to fight him. And of course, Reyes coming off of a tremendous win over uh, Paez here just Friday night. We'll check shortly after the Reyes Paez fight. I talked to Maldonado. Maldonado says, we, he says we want Bolillo, wants Reyes, if not Bolillo Gonzalez, maybe for the WBC title, which is Miguel Angel Gonzalez, who is also managed by Ricardo Maldonado. Maldonado just had a winner in the Mexican super flyweight bout, Barrera. What an 18-year-old that is. And this kid, Gonzalez, in the blue is only 20. Reyes is 21. So and, that would make quite, well, some of the and, young and fighters. Miguel Angel is 21 also. He's 30 in all, 30 knockouts. The WBC champion. Good, like he said, young, good fighters now, huh, Chick? Yep. Champions. Round one here. In defense of his title, Gonzalez. The kid in the red trunks, Lorenzo Smith of Chicago. No one can pinpoint why he is the number one contender, which he truly is. He hasn't beat anybody in the top 30. So no one quite knows what to expect from this Windy City lad. His nickname is Smitty. Well, you know, those are the most dangerous fighters, Chick. You know nothing of. They come out of the woodwork. Yes, they do, but I'll tell you one thing for sure. He'll know a little bit about Gonzalez before this evening is over. And Gonzalez may know a lot more about him. Look at those jabs. He's got a nice jab, but he's yeah. using it well. Good left-hand jab. Of course, he's got his seven-inch reach advantage. We're coming down to the end of round number one. Where do saints pray to be on Sunday nights? In your face. Yeah. Hey, boomer.
That first round was pretty close. How'd you score it? I had a 10-9. Favorite Favor Smith. He's got that long jab. He's throwing. Bolillo hasn't done nothing yet. Believe me, Bolillo will get started here quick. By the way, you boxing fans will enjoy Rafael Reyes tonight in press box. Great win for him, huh, Chick? Yep. I understand tonight that uh, Payaz had suffered a broken hand in the second round, and he tried to take Reyes out in the fourth. Did a pretty good job of trying, but uh, after the fifth uh, through the tenth, when it was stopped, it was, he didn't have much to do with, with his right hand. It was all over. It was a. Uh, but you know, uh, Rafael, he fought a very, very smart fight. What else is new with him? And the goose is very good. That's a good jab this guy's throwing out there. He's got kind of an awkward style. He does sometimes punch in combinations. Not known outside of Chicago, really. A huge underdog here. Well, Buster Douglas was a huge underdog when he knocked Tyson out, wasn't he? That's true. Quickness. Wow. One thing they say about Gonzalez is that his body is not behind his punches. Therefore, he doesn't get the power that he needs. What the heck are they talking about? Well, He's got 30 knockouts and 33 wins. You're getting power. <laughs> but you know, oh, there's a beautiful left hand that buckled the knee of Smith. And now a good jab by Smith sends Gonzalez to the rope. Well, he caught him with a little right hand check on the button. And I think he was more off balance than anything else. But it did land. Good fight so far. Look at that jab because of that seven-inch reach. Or at least partly because of it. This kid reminds me so much. You remember Pepino Cuevas? Yeah. Sure. Welterweight champion. He reminds me so much of Pepino. The last fight Gonzalez had was in Mexico City and he scored a second round knockout. In the last fight that Smith had, he scored a third round knockout over a guy named Lamont Buchanan back in Chicago. Round number two. Yeah, Smith is keeping a Bolillo at the end of that jab, and he's keeping him away from getting inside of it. So it's a far. Very, very smart way of fighting a guy like Bolillo with 30 knockouts and 33 wins. Don't let him get inside. Has won 20 of 21 fights. He had a draw. He's never been beaten, Smith. He's had nine knockouts in his 20 victories. All right, round two comes to a conclusion. Remember, Smith on the unofficial card of Rubin won the first round. We got some uh, good fights upcoming at the uh, Great Western Forum. You'll see them on Prime Network, coast to coast, November the 23rd. Oh, boy. Lightweight, Oscar De La Hoya, the Olympic champion against Lamar Williams. Then on December the 7th, the WBC mini flyweight title on the line. Chiquita Gonzalez against Melchor Cobb Castro. Good shows. Great show. Speaking of Chiquita Gonzalez, here tonight is D uh, B uh, Danny Carbohoff. I know it. He's here, and, and, and Michael's defending his title on the 12th of December. So after that, Chick, we don't know. Danny's going to be in the ring tonight, uh, handling a guy named Ray Hernandez. By the way, on Friday night's card, a kid named Johnny Chavez won an eight-round bout. Saturday morning, he woke up. Listen to this, fans. This is unbelievable. He won the fight on Friday night. Saturday morning, he woke up. He was totally blind he had suffered double detached retinas and dr robert carnes told me he'd never heard of such a thing before he immediately phoned the forum boxing management john jackson and he said he got tremendous cooperation from everybody they rushed the kid to the hospital he did eye surgery and when he woke up the next day he had vision in the left eye and the right eye is going to respond too he tells me isn't that great news great wow. news and what a story all right we're in round number three here championship fight the WBO Junior Welterweight Championship on the line. Boy, that's some story. Johnny lives right close by to me. I didn't even know about that, Chick. You didn't? And they had no clue to it. You ought to go over and see. Yes, I am. Will he be able to fight again? It's doubtful. That's too bad. Did you give Smith the second round? Both rounds. Wow. 
Look at him. He's just picking up Olio away right now. He's doing a real good job. His handler in the corner, Joe Barrios, has just prepared him mentally and physically for this fight superbly. Coming from the Midwest and not getting big headlines anywhere in the country, no one knew anything about him. Johnny Beirutti, who is a great publicist for the forum, and he, uh, he told me he dug and dug and scraped and tried to get all that he could, and he did a good job, but he said very little is known about him outside of the Chicago area. Smitty, they call him. When a guy's got 30 knockouts and 33 runs, he can take you out with one punch. And that's the record of Gonzalez. It looks to me like Bo Leo is stepping up the pace. Starting to get through with the jab now. Three jabs he scores in a row. That almost ended, but Smitty, as long as he keeps that jab and keeps boxing Bolillo, he's not going to have very much problems with him. But if he stays toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bolillo, it's going to be over. Good left hand scored by Bolillo. Coming to the end of the third round. On his horse now is Smith. Best punch of the fight so far, delivered by Bolillo. A left cross. Mm. That hurt. Did he win the round? Yes, he did. So it's 29-28 after three on Ruben Castillo's unofficial card. Hope you're keeping score. California must system. Ten points to the winner of a round. Nine to the loser. If Bolio throw those left hooks more often, it could be over. Uh, it could be a quick night for him. I think that uh, Ricardo Maldonado has changed the style just a little bit since the second round. And I believe that Mal Gonzalez is applying a lot more pressure. Well, you know, Bolio, after hitting him with the left hook, he did the last round that we just showed, Chick. He's got to apply more pressure. Now, Smitty knows that he can punch with that left hook, so he's going to have to try, to try to be on his bicycle. If Bolio can cut the ring in half, it could be a whole different story here. Whole different fight. Gonzalez is not the fastest fighter that you'll find in the Jeweler Junior Waterweight division. But he makes up for it with a lot of other things. He's just a little bit awkward, lacks polish, lacks some of the techniques. He's a headhunter. Oh, good chopping right hand by Lorenzo Smith. His best punch of the night. See, Chick, I want you to notice with Bolillo, he gets inside and he poses a little bit, doesn't throw any punch, any combinations. When he gets inside those shots, he'll throw some combos to the body. He's a headhunter, as we said, but that doesn't mean he can't throw combos as you have stated, moving to the body. They'll have some good tape of the uh, Paez Reyes fight on the press box tonight. That'll be good. I would like to say something about Raul Kaiser, referee. You know him, good friend of ours, Chick. He has a kindergarten to first grade. Oh, solid blow landed by Gonzalez. Okay, Ruben. They got a soccer team of girls. They're undefeated. They're called the Cardinal Little Mermaids. <laughs> That's neat. Anybody that works with kids can't be all bad, huh? Undefeated team. He's a good referee, too, Raul. Very good. He's... Very good. What's his real profession? Don't shake your head. Answer me. Okay. What's his real profession? Uh, he's a mortgage guy. Mortgage. Uh -huh. Bolillo's got him now where he wants him, Chick. He's got to keep him close. Keep, keep him close to him. There he goes. He's got to throw the jab, keep him close, keep him against the ropes. All right. The fourth round coming to an end. Pretty close fight. 
reincarnation. The belief you can come back is just about anything. Four rounds of our championship bout in the cash register, and Ruben scoring after four, 38-38. So the first two rounds won by Gonzalez, the last two, or rather by Smith, the last two by Gonzalez. About the time that we said that Handler Ricardo Maldonado had changed tactics for Gonzalez. That's when he has stepped forward and won two rounds in a row on our unofficial card. Chick Hearn with Ruben Castillo, Jerry Romano, and Susan Stratton producing directing for our Prime Network Coast to Coast. Working with an outstanding crew. Lloyd Robertson, our floor director. That was a trip. You mean the golfer, uh, Lloyd Robertson? Loosening up with the right hand now, Smith. He's been relying mostly on the jab. He's got to be very careful. He might run into that left cross of Gonzalez again. There it is. There it is. Right there. You know, believe me, Bolillo's jab feels like a right hand. I hear where you're coming from, yeah. Smith has done a good job here taking him through the fourth round. His average in the last 30 bouts has been four. There's a the headbutt. Headbutt. Accidental. Oh, he got cut. He got cut. Is he cut? Yes. You mean Smith is cut? Smith, Smith is cut on the right corner of the eye. Darn it. Tough break for him if it's uh, a bad cut. I don't see any blood yet, do you? Yes, there's some trickling down the side. right hand scored by Smith. He missed that right. He, he runs into a good left hand and the cross right by Gonzalez. Well, Gonzalez knows that the man is in trouble now with the cut from the butt. That right hand hit, landed on the top of the head. That wasn't real effective, but that left hook did. It landed pretty good. Gonzalez now starting to unload. Chick, he's already, I think he's got, he's got Smith's number now, Chick. I think so, too. He's on the bicycle. He's on a moped, Chick, now. Gonzalez is on a power bike. Ten seconds. The cut doesn't seem to be bad, but I think that Smith is so cognizant of it that has changed his style just a little bit. They're not calling the doctor in. Boxing fans, the Ringsiders Club offers you select seating, complimentary parking, and exclusive forum club membership. Join the Ringsiders Club. See the action up close. Become a part of the finest boxing program in America. Call right now. Operators are standing by. You can call 310-673-1773. Now the... Handler's over in the corner of Smith taking a close look. Keep your left jab going. Try to shorten it up a little bit and get your one, two, three, and go. And sit down on that right foot. You see they're wearing the gloves. Just turn him up a little bit if you want to. Just a tiny bit. They're saying they think this punch was opened by a, the cut was opened by a punch. That might be it right there. We thought maybe the headbutt had something to do with it. Good it? That looks good. Looks like that's what it did. Sure it does. Anyway, at the time they bumped heads, the referee, Thais, told them both, be careful. Well, I won't ever second guess Jerry Ramon. Good camera work. Good production. What about uh, the scoring? I've got the fight scored, 48-47 now in favor of Julio Gonzalez. No matter what nice things you say about Jerry Romano or Susan Stratton, you still have to be on time for Noah. Okay, we're in the first minute of oh, 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 oh. uh, round number six. <laughs> <laughs> now the stalking starts, and Gonzalez is in pursuit of the Windy City fighter, Lorenzo Smith. And Lorenzo is backpedaling and mopping away at that eye. It's bothering him, notice it. Right on 
on that cut again. Now it's really starting to look bad. That line, there's another one right on the same spot, and the blood is trickling down into the eyeball, and these are the times that they stop fights. And Smith on his horse now. And uh, the pursuer, Gonzalez. figure out a way to dab at the eye and fight at the same time. It's an impossible task. Absolutely. Very much so. You have to have a great knockout punch to continue the fight with any degree of success, and he does not have that. The referee, Raul Caiz, takes a look at it. Has not some of the doctors. He can call time out and some of the doctor anytime he wants. We've got a minute left to fight here in round number six of our scheduled 12-round championship battle. The champion is in the blue. The challenger is in trouble. It doesn't appear to be any marks on Gonzalez, although there is some redness around the cheekbones, and that's from that jab and with a seven-inch reach advantage. Some of the crowd is uh, slightly booing Smith for his running tactics. What's he going to do, stop and kill? Can you blame the guy? No, I don't. You know, I don't blame him. Okay, it's, but all, it's only chance for survival is to get back to his corner and get somebody to patch that eye up again. Tell you what, being on his bicycle is an understatement. If I had a Corvette, I'd jump in that. If I was him. Ten seconds left in round number six. Joe Lewis said so prophetically years ago, they can run, but they can't hide. And now going back to his corner, we're going to time out, and the doctor is going to be summoned, and here comes Dr. Robert Carnes. Whether or not they'll let the fight continue, we'll know in a second. Let's see. It's a championship by Junior Waterway, WBO. They're going to take another look. The doctor asked him to mop it down so that he can see it better. What would you say, son? Close your eye, honey. We can get this. Lay back. Open your eye. The doctor said to Smith, what did you say, son? He didn't get a chance to answer. The people in this corner answered for him. Is that pouring in? Yes, I just come in. I don't think he wants to continue, frankly. I think he's going to stop it. Dr. Carnes does not want to stop it. Now he's getting a close look at it. Look at me, son. Am I blurry at all? Yeah. Am I clear? Look, open your eye. Am I clear? A little bit. That's a little bit. No, it's over. It's all over. That answer did it. The doctor asked him, and you heard it, am I clear? Meaning, can you see me clearly? And the kid said, a little bit. And that was the end of it. And Carlos... Bolio Gonzalez wins his 34th fight. He's hoisted to the shoulder of some uh, fan that jumped into the ring. The crowd is booing the stoppage, but as soon as those words were uttered, just a little bit, that was all she wrote. You know, Chick, the fans don't know what was said in the corner. That's why they stopped the fight. They should not, they should not boo this. Good stoppage. As I said to you, I don't think that Lorenzo Smith has any qualms about why they stopped it. We'll be back for the presentation of the belt for the official time as Gonzalez gets his 34th pro win and his 31st knockout on Prime Network, Fight Night at the Forum. Herrera with a record of 21-0. Now he comes along with Gonzalez, a record of 34-0. So the two guys that he brought to town from down south of the border with 55 wins and no losses. That is some kind of a coup. One is 18 years of age, the other is 20 years of age. Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number six. Physician at ringside, Dr. Robert Carnes, stops the contest due to two severe cuts on the challenger. The winner by way of technical knockout, still undefeated, and still the WBO Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, Carlos.
Carlos Bolillo Gonzalez. All right, the record 34-0 with 31 knockouts. And now, will it happen? Rafael Relas looking on down at Prime Ticket. And uh, he will, he hopes, get a shot at Gonzalez for the Junior Welterweight Championship at the WBO. Let's go up to Ruben Castillo. Uh, thank you, Chick. First of all, I want to congratulate him. I want to ask him about the first two rounds. It was a very slow start for Bolillo. I had never seen him start that slow ever. And uh, why he started so slow and then how he picked up. Primeramente, felicidades por defender su campeonato mundial. Y en los primeros dos rounds empezaste muy despacio, ¿por qué? Bueno, esperaba un estilo así tan difícil para mí. Creo que el hecho de ser un ponchador y, y tener un boxeador tan bueno como lo es él, pues siento que es difícil. Entonces, pues entré con la precaución de, de poder ver en qué momento podía entrarle, pero definitivamente nunca se le encuentra, puesto que pues es, es muy ágil, corre mucho. Well, he said that uh, he didn't realize what a difficult style that Smith had, and he had to in, he had to get inside with some type of precaution. He didn't realize it was going to be that tough. So after the first two rounds, he came on strong. Now I want to ask him after about the third round when he started landing some left hooks, is that did he think the fight was all his? Ya después en el tercer round ya que que le cansas con el gancho izquierdo y desde desde entonces pensabas que la pelea era tuya? No, no, nunca este nunca se nunca la sentí totalmente mía, puesto que nunca nunca se dignó a fajarse un poco conmigo y y siento que esa, esa, era su gran, esa era su pelea, yo lo admiro mucho, es una gran pelea y esperemos que para la próxima, porque él desea volver a pelear, si la hay, esperemos que, que venga un poco más animado y entremos en golpe. Well, see, he didn't, he never thought that the fight was going to be easy or be his way, but he, uh, he started landing some shots and then it started to go in, in his direction, but if he ever wants to rematch, he'll know how to fight him next. Now I want to ask him the ultimate question. What about Rafael Relas? Ahora, ¿qué piensas tú con una pelea con Rafael Relas? Bueno, Rafael Ruelas yo lo vi con Marumero Paz.